All right, everyone, we're here with Devaney for episode seven of her podcast. Devin, do you have any special guests today? I sure do. We have Dr. Christina Tarantola with us today. So welcome. Thank you so much. And I love the way you said my last name. It was perfect. Nice, nice. Those Italians, we have to stay together. Yes. Yeah. Uh-oh. You know, two Italian women on one podcast. Italian yes. sandwich. <laughs> That's it. Awesome, right? Yep. My maiden name is San Martino. Oh, wow. So, you know, definitely. My mom is a Guerrero. So, you know, definitely Italian. So how did you ladies meet? We met at a local networking uh, event here just a few weeks back. Uh, Dr. Christina and myself were both nominated uh, for being some best business people and business companies here in Pittsburgh. Oh, wow. So what did you think of Devony when you met her? She just has this light. And, you know, we'll talk about that today. And this you can just see it in her eyes mm -hmm. how she does what she loves. And that's really what I love to help my clients do is to really be a passionate entrepreneur be, you know, show up for um, whatever that is that lights you up in your life. So I just was immediately attracted to her bright energy. Yeah, which okay. is amazing. Before we get into this podcast, I need to ask you two women something very important. Okay. Something I know nothing about. Typical what, of men. Okay. What are the best ways for you guys to, you know, recharge and relax? Do you want to start? <laughs> so, yeah, so I'll start. So, you know, um, I'm a little bit different than than most people, right? I I love to sweat, right? And it's not always just going to a gym and getting a good workout or getting a run in. Um, I really I really enjoy um, physical exertion. So it's either I'm working in my garden, uh huh. I'm <laughs> I'm working in my garden. I'm, you know, doing things outdoors and, you know, all kinds of things. I I love that part of just being able to go out into nature and, and hike and just I really get lost in the act of what I'm doing. Um, and when I do that, um, it's I always have said I wish I would bring a recorder with me because I um it's, it's my brain clears and I could probably write a book every time I go on a hike with the dogs because it just, I go through that mental release and it's phenomenal. It's a great feeling. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I can, I can definitely relate. I love to, you're going to laugh because I feel like my brain is always going all the time. Mm -hmm. When you own your own business, it's a lot. So I actually love to just have like a Netflix sometimes just to, you know decompress with with a movie or something like that um <clears throat> but for really busy people I would definitely recommend you know t five or ten minutes a day even if you you know meditate or just mm -hmm. have a cup of tea or do something that just calms you down and relaxes you and gets you into that space that you were talking about right. when you get out into nature and you allow that kind of mental chatter that's always there mm -hmm. to melt you get rid away. of the static yeah right, right. you know and and everyone's <clears throat> different right so it's not like i said some people like to go to the gym or you know even if it's hey this is my favorite cup of tea and just sitting down or calling your mom on the phone or your best friend and or someone you haven't spoke to in a while and taking 15 minutes um and, it, and it's it's fantastic right because there's little things that you can do during your work day to help kind of break up um, the chatter and break up that mon um, monotony sometimes. And it could literally be walk out your business and just go outside and pace your parking lot for five or 10 minutes and get some sunshine in. So it really comes down to, I think, what what really somebody enjoys right, in taking right. five or 10 minutes a, a day or, or, or a few times a day to, to make it happen. I'm so glad you said Netflix and not Game of Thrones. <laughs> Because we got real worked up over here over Game of Thrones. This definitely was not the recharging. I know Devney right now doesn't know who won The Voice. So right, there's right. a lot of suspense going on over here. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. All right. So uh, I, you have this great program, of uh, this transformation coach uh, thing that you do. Why don't you tell us what makes your program so different from everything else that's out there? Right. So there's definitely a lot of coaches that's, you know, the the new like hip thing I guess but uh, you know life coaching is really something that you know seeks to help people reach their goals but what I do it's transformation coaching so it's really working with people to help them release what's no longer working in their life and that could be outdated beliefs about how they see themselves it could be you know excess weight it could be resentment I just had a client <clears throat> um, let go of a thirty year resentment. Towards, oh towards her son 
And it's when you free yourself up for what's possible. And that's what I was talking about before. Um, when we feel stuck and we are holding on to so much internally, you don't have the space to create, to be creative, right. period. And you don't have the freedom. So I really believe that I help women transform from the inside out and create a life that's meaningful and that's filled with joy that they can wake up every day and feel happy about their life and they're not living their life for someone else or you know trying to p people please so all of those things are a part of really how I empower women to you put know, themselves first right yeah. exactly that's what it's all about and and as women it's not always easy to do that you know because right. you have kids and dogs and all these things and a business to take mm -hmm. care of but it's really and you know I'm sure you've heard it before it's when you can give to yourself then you can kind of let give rest, more to others right exactly mm -hmm. yeah and we talked about this uh when we had our last guest Lindsay here you know sometimes the 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 biggest challenge with women is just speaking up and mm -hmm. kind of relaying what their needs are and then when they finally get that confidence to go to someone like mm -hmm. Dr. Christina, you know, they're really looking at you and other life coaches as someone to help guide them and point them in the right direction. And I think that's where someone like Dr. Christina is so different compared to all the other coaches that are out there. They're there and I don't think they're really um, helping the women point them in to maybe the right journey for that individual as it is like, here's this overall encompass encompassing program that you can probably fit into your life at some way where Christina's looking at individuals as an individual and helping them um, fix themselves as a whole and uh, being able to help them realize, you know, their potential. Right. And, you know, it's interesting because I meet a lot of people where, you know, they've read all the self-help books, they've seen maybe podcast, heard podcasts, and knowledge is power, right? Mm -hmm. But it's when you really take action, and I help people energetically shift out of these patterns, and you you see the transformation. Because, you know, we can read, we know what's healthy, we know, you know, what to do, but unless you embody it, that's a totally different quality. Right. So. Yeah. Okay, so you did mention that there's a certain light about Devonie when you guys met. Absolutely. So let's talk about that. So I can actually <laughs> feel people's. Um, I, I'm very intuitive as far as how I feel people's energy when I meet them, and she's a bright light. I can just feel. You know, we have different energy centers in the body, and her solar plexus chakra, which is your power center, is bright. So she's warm. She's welcoming. That's, I mean, I just gravitated to her because I could just feel how unique and, and special she was. And I, I really admire you. Well, thank you. Really thank do. you. Kind of runs in the family a little bit. You know, my, uh, my grandfather was a, an intuitive person, not that he spoke about that much, uh, truthfully. And, you know, my mom, my mom believes in uh, this type of lifestyle quite a bit. We we were raised on this type of lifestyle, and um, you know I've I've met some really interesting people along the way as a kid, and uh, I'll, I'll never forget those memories. But I but I really do believe uh, that if you understand and listen to yourself, that you'll never make the wrong decision uh, because no matter if it was a good decision or a bad decision, you learn from it. Okay, so we've been talking a lot about how uh, women sometimes have a hard time getting that, making that decision to go speak up and ask for help, mm -hmm. right? And I know you guys met at a conference. Yeah. So, I mean, what are the benefits of going to these conferences for those women who have uh, little experience going out there and getting help and those women who have a ton of experience of being out there and you know, having businesses and so on and so forth? Sure. Well, I mean, one of the first things are when you go to these conferences, you're networking, right? So mm -hmm. you get to connect with great people who you may not have met before. And, um, you know, and you don't, you never understand, or you might, might not know the benefits that you get from that, right? So uh, it's not easy to network. It's not easy to network, especially when you go by yourself, because if you're not open and upfront, you're kind of just there and you, do, you might not, you feel awkward, right? Because you know nobody. And um, it, it's a little awkward, you know, but, you know, the, the, 
the biggest thing I think you get from conferences is from the speakers. The speakers, you know, are very much like parents. Parents raise their kids and they say, learn from my mistakes. These speakers have already been through the business mistakes or whatever the the program is about, the life coach mistakes, the whatever it is. Um, And they're offering you so much information and they're offering you tips and their tricks. And this is, this is the mistake I made. This is how I fixed it. Learn from me. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes it's financially cheaper to go to these conferences and learn how you can take all these bonuses and tips and interesting comments that they make and to fit it into your life, how it fits into your life. Um, And I think that's really one of the the biggest advantageous reasons why you want to go there other than networking. I love that answer. Mm -hmm. And I never thought of it that way. You're like, yeah, you're investing to go to the networking event, but you're saving hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars on mistakes that people have made. Right. And they're sharing it. If you try to maybe book one of these speakers just to have a one-on-one conversation, they may charge you. You might pay a lot more money to to get coached or, or trained by an individual as to where if they held a grand group conference, you know, think of like, Tony Robbins, right? Mm -hmm. And when he has these big group events, he's passing off that skill set. And you might be you might pay a few hundred dollars to go there. But if you were to call him up and say, let's meet one on one, I mean, what do you think that's going to cost you a million dollars an hour? (laughs) I'm pretty sure that's what it is. (laughs) It is a little less than that. But more more importantly, uh, I guess, I feel like, you know, with YouTube and all these different platforms to go see these videos of people speaking, I mean, can I just sit at home and watch these videos? Is it going to be a different experience going there in person? Oh, absolutely. I feel that, like I said before, you can watch something and knowledge is power, but when you're in the the environment, the energy, you get to talk to someone face to face. Yeah. And I feel like there's also this, you know, social media is great in so many ways, but there's this veil that, you know, you're not able to really connect with people. I mean, I try to be as vulnerable as possible on my my page, but when you're sitting across from someone and you can say, hey, listen, like these are my challenges, you learn and it's it's mm-hmm. just so much deeper than watching a video or, you know, listening to something. Yeah, you're, so. you're inspired, right? right? You're inspired, you're motivated. You know, when you meet someone in person, you know, uh, the actual touch or a hug is um, something that's can be quite overwhelming, um, but very, very good to an individual. Uh, the human touch is actually one of those yeah. things that can help you relax um, and it can help you release stress and anxiety. So um, when you're meeting someone who makes you smile or is inspiring or motivates you, um, you're really gaining a lot more from that experience than just watching a, a YouTube video. Those of you at home, Devin is a hugger. So if you ever <laughs> see her too. at one of these shows, she will squeeze you. Yes. I'm just letting you know now. Yes, absolutely. I've already went through HR. I've got it approved. Uh, I'm a hugger. <laughs> Isn't it like eight hugs a day or something lowers your blood pressure? I thought I... Hu- well, they, it does. I mean, hugging really does uh, lower blood pressure. So. Hey, Mike, we're going to have to start doing hugs. <laughs> you know, every 30 minutes, we're just going to hug each other. Yeah. Mike's we'll our magic guy out. behind the camera, by the way. <laughs> yeah, the big the big bear hug grip. <laughs> okay, so let's say uh, there's some people at home and they decide to go to the next conference, which uh, I'm not sure what the next one is, mm-hmm. but I'm sure there's, there's tons of these yeah. all over the place, mm-hmm. right? So uh, if you're traveling to a conference, what are the best snacks to bring? Uh, are there things you should bring to the conference? Uh, I mean, is there food at these things? I mean, give us some information about that. I would always say whenever you're traveling or going somewhere out of your normal comfort zone, I would say that protein is typically low because you're going out to eat, you're eating, you know, more carbs and fat. So I would say definitely bring some kind of protein powder, protein bars. Mm -hmm. About time. (laughs) (laughs) That's okay. I'm going to do some shameless plugs. So um, there's a few things that I really, uh, I really do like to bring or kind of help people, you know, understand what they, what they can do pretty quickly, especially when they're traveling a lot. Um, hemp protein is a, a complete protein. Um, not only does it, is it tons of omegas, it helps uh, lower blood, uh, your blood pressure and all kinds of other things, right? It's high in antioxidants. It's just really great for you. 
walnuts. Uh, walnuts are an amazing, amazing product. Not only do they help with digestion, but they reduce inflammation, um, high in antioxidants as well, um, pistachios. And lastly is matcha green tea, right? So matcha green tea is great for weight loss. It's, it's great for natural energy. Um, it's, you know, does wonderful things for your skin. So things that I personally take with me when I travel, um, I will use our matcha green tea protein. Um, I'll make that as a shake and bring that with me, blend it with half of a banana because a banana is a, is a final product that can... Makes everything better. It makes everything. Well, it's it's uh, great. It's high in potassium. It's great fiber. It's it's natural sweetness. So you're you're good to go there. Um, and then I usually make um, the vegan brownie brownie uh, mug cakes and take them with me. So I'll take the other half of the banana, mash it up, put the brownie mix in it, throw in some walnuts, zap that in the microwave for about 45 seconds, and you get a great brownie, right, that you can take with you. They're little snacks in your purse. It, it's got um, hemp protein, you know, so you're getting your protein, you're getting your fats, you're getting your carbs. Um, and But the, the foods are whole foods. So you're getting tons and tons of natural usable energy and there's no there's no wasted calories there what about in your magic purse <laughs> what else should you have in there you know i mean well so all kinds of like energy bites made with you know nuts and seeds like so some of the biggest things right now for women is seed cycling and Ooh, what is seed cycling so seed cycling actually helps with their um monthly cycle for women oh, okay, okay. Not i know nothing about this topic <laughs> Uh, and so seed cycling is where for the first 14 days, they're eating two specific seeds. Um, and then on the first day of ovulation, which is day 15, uh, it, and it's whenever is based on when your cycle starts, right? So day 15, uh, you go into two other types of seeds and you eat that for the for the remaining uh, days of the month. Um, so it actually balances out your ho- your hormones and... Um, so it's just a it's just a really cool way to help to help women naturally balance out that part of their body because when you're in a hormonal flux, it really uh, it really can cause a lot of stress and anxiety on your body. Um, it actually will affect your your brain and your thinking um, and the choices that you make and can kind of kind of put you in different types of moods and um, when you're balanced out completely you make better decisions and you you feel better how about an iPhone charger <laughs> you what how about your phone charger <laughs> What about it? You gotta have that in the magic purse. Oh, oh the no. just could be like long, sure, long days. Sure, sure. You know, I mean, we're talking about foods and energy. Yeah, you just went right <laughs> to <laughs> iPhone charger. <laughs> about energy, right? So I immediately think I need to bring my phone charger. I mean, so at these events, you're, you know, there's normally like coffee and tea and, and some little small snacks. So sometimes they serve lunch. It just really depends on on how long the program is. Mm -hmm. Um, But, you know, there's always little great, great, easy to make snacks that you can take with you. If it's energy bites, if it's some fruit bars or just hand fruit, um, things that you can travel, protein powder in your little baggies and you can add water and do what you need to do because there's always water at those events. But, um, and this can go for any kind of travel. It's not even to just Mm -hmm. a conference. You know, these are things that, you know, women and men can generally just work into their lifestyle because because airports are have horrible food, and most of it, you know, and it's hard, especially for someone like me who's challenged with so many allergies. You know, I can't even go near a hard boiled egg or or anything that's made with them. So um, I'm I'm really limited when it comes to some of the healthy choices that that are in places. You just have to make sure that you label the protein bags because <laughs> you know if it's white powder, you got to make sure you put vanilla protein powder on it. These airports, they can, be, they can be interesting. Okay, so what type of person would uh, ideally reach out to you for your transformation coaching? So somebody who is struggling or feeling stuck in their life, they're feeling like they wake up every day and they're not really excited about their life. They Maybe they have some kind of habit that they are persistently challenged with. Um, you know, I meet a lot of people who have anxiety or, you know, eating challenges and you know, I can help them through my, my tools that, you know, I do hypnosis and tapping and really 
help people so that they can be empowered for life with these tools that I teach them. So really anybody who's open and, and maybe feels stuck in their life and really wants to make a change. So it sounds like everything's in person. Right. This isn't something you could do digitally over like I can actually do Zoom because I have clients, you know, outside of the range of Pittsburgh. And I found that Zoom is really great because I can still see them. I can, you know, do everything I need to do and then I send them a recording after. So it's really great that way. Yeah. I also think that um, she is great for individuals who maybe are like me. Um, who have owned a business for a long time and, you know, maybe their creativity level is uh, at a certain level where maybe it's a little lower or it, I, you need a reboot or a rebuild, um, you know, so where you get to a point where it's like, okay, we've been doing this and I'm so busy working, I don't have time to sit back and say, how do I take this business to the next level? You know, it kind of, I, I need that vision kind of cleared a, mm -hmm. a little bit, you know. So what I'm hearing is I could hire you to hypnotize Devony, <laughs> right? So that every time that like a, she gets a text message, she'll moo like Bessie. <laughs> she won't do that. <laughs> That's actually why I don't ever do hypnosis because I'm I'm afraid that uh, that eventually I would quack like a dog oh or or moo like Bessie, and I would just you know not in my bag. <laughs> so how long is a typical session? I mean, are these like 30 minute calls? Are these, yeah. uh, these last six months? How does it work? So the Lighten Up Transformation program is four months long. And I meet with my clients every other week so that they have time to integrate because we, it, the work that we do is not surface. It's, mm -hmm. you know, really deep transformation work. So, um, you know, it's a 45 minute session, typically like 45 minutes to an hour. And it really depends on the person as to what we're going to delve into. I have a framework of what I, you know, some topics that I work on, but a lot of it's focused on helping people release some of these conditions that, you know, we, we grow up, every single one of us grows up with limits and conditions and things that, you know, say, for example, you grew up and you saw your parents making a certain amount of money. You often you know, portray that same image of who mm -hmm. you think you can be. And so a lot of it is getting, uh, shedding a lot of that conditioning. So yeah. it, it, it's really, that's the crux of it. Yeah. Well, I feel enlightened. I didn't even know there were transformation coaches out there. I just hear like, all these life coaches on on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, and, and I think that's the the biggest difference is you know life coaches are trying to just put a package out there and saying do this newsletter and, you know, put out a friendly quote and, you know, you just need to think better about yourself and, you know, all this generalized <clears throat> stuff. Whereas tell us how you really feel that <laughs> I really don't like the generalized packaging that people are trying to make money on. I just feel like women have a hard enough challenge in their life of, you know, trying to get through barriers that have been built for years mm -hmm. and for women to capitalize on other women and not really in, engage with them and fix the problem, what they're coming to you for. Um, it's just a little sad in my book. That's all. Okay. Well, I think that's it for our episode today. Yeah. Christina, thank you so much thank for, for coming on. Me. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely.